Hi boys and girls, welcome to Kid Life. It's my friend Drake the Dragon. Say hi, Drake. Hey, hey, we're gonna have a great time today. It's gonna be smoking awesome. Let's pray. Hey, my friends, are you guys ready to get started? Do me a favor, put your hands together, close your eyes and bow your head and let's pray. God, I thank you today for my friends that are watching. I ask that you bless them. Let them have an awesome time learning all about you. We love you so much. In your name we pray, amen. And now let's get warmed up with our hands just for fun. Remember, God, he's fun. He's the most fun, actually. He created fun. So let's get out our hands. We're going to do open, shut them. And I'm going to try to catch you. Try to follow along. I'm really fast, but I think you're pretty fast, too. Here we go. Ready? Oh, pinch shut. Oh, oh pinch shut. Give a little clap. Oh, 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 pinch up. Put them in your lap. Make them spiders. <gasps> Creepy crawl. <laughs> it's a little tickly. Creepy crawl them right. <laughs> oh, right up to your chin. Open up your great big mouth. Ah, uh, but do not let them in. Oh, pinch up. Oh, uh, pinch up. Give a little clap. Oh, uh, pinch up. Put them in your lap. Awesome. Now let's get out my friend, Burn the Bird. Got my trusty glove and Burn, you're being really quiet. What's that noise, bud? I'm getting on my arm, and oh, I see what that noise is. <laughs> what have you got there? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that looks yummy and a little funny. So. I tell you what though, why don't you put that back and it's, it's kind of rude to eat in front of people unless you have one for me and all the boys and girls. Okay, all right, put it back. <clears throat> Hello! <laughs> hey, all right, let's make sure you're on here. Good, so, hi. So was that yummy? Delicious, and it makes me look like a little cute bird with teeth. <laughs> oh, with teeth, that's right, because you, don't have any teeth regularly. But I can eat! I'm hungry! Oh, boys and girls, can you please feed Vern a worm? Please. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Now, Vern, it's time to find out what's in the mystery box. That's right, the mystery box. <gasps> Nothing. Nope, Vern. Let's take a look and see. <gasps> what do you think is going to be in there? Nothing. What do you think? <gasps> Let's take a look and see. It's nothing. <laughs> You're right, Vern. It is nothing, but not for long because we're going to get out our mystery box hands and we're going to make something. So, boys and girls, get out your mystery box hands and say, hit it. Hit it. Mystery box. Mystery box. Wonder what's inside. Mystery box. Mystery box. Wonder what we'll find. Vern, you know what we're going to do. Read a clue, take a guess, we'll find out what it is. Help me sing! Mystery box, mystery box, wonder what's inside. 
inside. Bird, we know what you think it is. A worm! A worm. Oh boy. Let's take a look and see. Please, Vern, read the clue. <coughs> Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. There's something in the mystery box. You got two of them on your head, and you listen with them. Hmm. What do you have two of? One, two, on your head, and you listen with them. <gasps> Vern. Worms! <laughs> You wanted to be a worm. What do you think it is? <gasps> Let's, that was a good guess. Let's take a look and see. Can you say poof? And not a worm. Yeah, we, we, we figured that wasn't a worm. <gasps> what do you have two of them on your head and you listen with them? Their ears! Really big ones, well. And see? Oh, and you know why there's ears? The better to hear you with my dear. <laughs> no, well, though, if it makes you listen better, that's great. That's a double good one. Um, no, Vern, the reason why there are ears in here is because in today's Bible story that there's um, this woman named Hagar, and she calls to God. She cries out, and God hears her. He listens to her. You know that? Hmm? Yeah, at the big part of the lesson today is that God hears me when I cry and he gives me what I need, just like he did with Hagar. He helped her. So when we're in trouble or we need help, we can cry out to God and he hears us and he gives us what we need. Might not be what we want always, but it'll definitely be what's best for us. And isn't that cool that God hears us when we cry out to him? Mm-hmm. God, I need a worm! <laughs> yes, and, and he may give you a worm or he may give you something else that, remember, it's not maybe not always what we want, but definitely what we need because he knows everything. And remember, who's got you? God. That's right. God's got our back. God is always looking out for us. And who loves you? God. That's right. God. He loves you more than you can even imagine. Loves you so much, Vern. I love him too. I know you do, bud. And so remember, God hears you when you cry out to him and he will give you what you need. One of my favorite scriptures is in Jeremiah and it says, call to me. God is saying, call to me and I will answer you. So let's cry out to God all the time. Let's talk to him all the time. God, I love you. And, and Vern, you don't even have to yell because God, he hears. Although you can yell passionately if you want to, but he hears you. And, but I, it does hurt my ears a little bit. Sorry. That's okay. I love you, bud. I love you, Jesus. That's right. And he loves you and you and me. And he's got us. He does. Bye. I'm here. Bye. I'm going to go suck on my little sucker. Okay. Bye. Vern, we love you. Bye. Okay. Guess what, friends? Guess what time it is? It's time for worship!
Bible talks about worshiping God with all of our hearts, all of our minds, and all of our strength. Help me sing this to him today. We want to worship you, Jesus, like that. Ready? It goes like this. With all of my heart and all of my mind and all of my strength, I will praise you, Lord, with all of my heart and all of my mind and all of my strength. I will praise you, Lord, with all of my heart, with all of my mind, and all of my strength. I will praise you, Lord, one more time, with all of my heart, and all of my mind, and all of my strength. I will praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. Thank you for loving us. Hey, boys and girls, this is my friend Fred. Ed all. <laughs> Fred is so cute and snuggly. And Fred, you wanted to introduce the Bible story today. Uh-huh. The thirst. I'm hungry. Do you eat worms like Vern? No, I eat words. Oh, words, not worms. <laughs> oh, and is that your? Uh-huh, that's my snack. Oh, you got a snack right here. And boys and girls, do you know what word this says? It's Bible, the B-I-B-L-E. That's the book for me. The Bible, that's right. So ooh, you're eating this word, the Bible today? Uh-huh, trying to hide it in my heart, like Jesus said. Well. That's actually not the way we hide God's word in our heart. We don't eat the word Bible. <laughs> don't try that at home. No, we, we read it and we listen to it and, and then we, we think about it and then we remember it because it's, it's in our minds and in our hearts so it's there when we need it. Oh, get it. All right, but you can still eat your word. I'm sure it's still a very tasty word since you eat words. Don't go eating words at home. Read words. Read words, listen to words at home. But Fred is going to eat the words. Ah. Oh, okay. Hungry. <laughs> Tonku. That's, that's thank you and monster. And you're very, very welcome, Fred. I love the title. You do? How much do you love it? <laughs> I think that's a lot. <laughs> so, get ready for another Bible story from Wonder. Who? Who? You know what time it is? It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse. Can you hear me? Are you there? Oh! Hello there, friends! Welcome to the clubhouse! It's me, Manny, and I'm happy to see you today. Can you believe it's still rainy outside? It's been pouring for days and days now, but that doesn't mean we can't have some fun. Do you know what this is? It's a cup with a string on the end. This string stretches all the way across the yard into my house. My mom has another cup on the other end of the string. We're gonna try to hear each other through the string. Isn't that cool? Let's try it. Hello, Mom, hello. Uh, hello, Mom, hello. Hello, Mom, hello. Hello, Manny. Hoo, 
Who? Talking to your mom, are you? Hi, Ollie. Yeah, I sure am. My mom and I are trying to hear each other through the string. And it really works. We can hear each other. Cup phones are fun. Yes, it's true. But I know someone who always hears you. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Okay, this one is for Mrs. Burkholtz. Oh, and this one is for Mr. Jackson. Oh, hi friends, I'm Justin the Mailman. It's so good to see you. I'm just getting all of these letters ready for delivery. I love when people send cards like this. Having a great trip, miss you. Love, Gigi and Gramps. It's so great. I love all of the different ways that we have to talk to each other. In fact, today's story is about how we can talk to God. Are you ready to hear it? I said, are you ready to hear it? <laughs> Great. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. So our true story from the Bible begins in a desert. Have you ever been to a desert? Some are sandy and hot, like really, really hot. Let's all pretend we're in a desert. Oh, oh man, it's so hot out here. Look at that sun. It must be 100 degrees. I'm sweating. Are you sweating? Let's fan ourselves. Whew. Whew. The desert is hot. Well, in today's story, in a hot desert, there was a mother named Hagar and her son. They look so tired, don't they? And hot. Now tell me, what do people need when they are hot and tired? Let's see if you can guess. Do they need a warm coat, roller skates, or a drink of water? A drink of water, that's right. Hagar and her son needed water, but they were out of water. Hagar didn't know what to do. They had no water to drink and couldn't walk any farther. Hagar's son started crying, and then <laughs> Hagar started crying too. Everyone, let's cry with them. Boo-hoo, boo-hoo. Okay, we can stop. Great job. They were all alone in the desert and thirsty and hot. They thought no one could hear them crying. Except, tell me, who always hears us? God, that's right. God can always hear us. Just then, an angel spoke to Hagar from above. Everyone say, whoa, whoa. The angel told Hagar to not be afraid, that God heard her son's cries and he was showing her where to find water. God loves us so much, doesn't he? He hears us no matter where we are. No matter where we go, God is with us and we don't have to worry because God's got it. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. So there's your story. It's all true. God heard the boy, and he will hear you too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, what a great story. God heard Hagar and her son and gave them just what they needed. And guess what? God hears us and helps us too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Do you know what the best part is? I don't need a cup phone to talk to God. He's always with me and always hears me, no matter what. 
talk to you later, Mom. I'm gonna talk to God. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1.9 God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1.9 Boys and girls, I thought of a way we could catch Freddy the Frog. You know my friend, Freddy the Frog? Well, anyways, he loves the jumping frog song. And I like to pretend to be a frog and jump with him. So maybe if we can get him to come out and jump, he might jump high enough and then I can catch him. Will you help me? Great. Okay, let's pretend we're frogs. Ready? Oh, ribbit. Can you jump like a frog? Can you jump? Can you jump like a frog? Oh, it's working. Can you jump? Oh boy, now let's see how high we can jump. Ready? I'm gonna get over here. You boys and girls, ready? We're gonna jump as high as we can. Who can jump the highest? Here we go, ready? Get down like a frog. Ready, and one, two, three! Woo! It worked. It worked, boys and girls. Read it. Hey, boys and girls, I've got something fun for us to do. This is a cat in the hat in the box. You might have heard of a jack in the box. This is a cat in the hat in the box. And we're going to do it just for fun. You know, God is fun. He's the most fun. And he's super creative. I mean, he made you. He made me. He made the whole earth. So let's have some fun. Are you ready? Here we go. We're going to spin the handle. The music's gonna come on and then he's gonna pop out. Here we go. Ah! Goes the cat in the hat. Pop! Goes the cat in the hat. All right, ready? One more time. Here we go. <gasps> Oh, he got stuck. Let me help you. Pop goes the cat in the hat. Oh, so much fun. You know what's cool is we know by the end of the song, the cat's gonna come out. And guys, you can know in life, even through hard times, eventually God is going to rescue you. God is faithful. And you just keep your eyes on him and cling to him. And remember, God will take care of you. Have you ever felt that you are just one out of billions of people on the planet? Well, you might be. But that doesn't mean you're not special to God. God made you. Uniquely you. And He has a very cool plan for your life. The Bible says, For I know the plans I have for you. Plans to give you a future and a hope. The fact is, God made us so we can all have a relationship with Him. The kind of relationship where you could actually talk with him about anything that's on your mind. God wants you to tell him what is truly on your heart. He loves you and wants you to be honest with him always, even in times of trouble. Now getting to know God is the goal, because when you know God, it makes it easier to live out his plan for your life. God is perfect and lives in heaven, and we have become separated from him. Not because he's in heaven and we're on earth, we're separated because of sin. Sin is when you do wrong things or make bad choices. God knew the only way to connect us back to himself was by sending his only son Jesus to save us. Now, Jesus was born more than 2,000 years ago and lived a sinless life on earth. A life that was demonstrated by love, healing sick people, and sharing God's wisdom and truths with others. It's because of his sinless life that Jesus was able to fix our relationship with God. The Bible says, God demonstrates his own love for us in this, 
While we were still sinners, Christ died for us, and he came back to life three days later. This greatest act of love is what bridged the gap between you and God. Jesus is the way to eternal life with God. Accepting Jesus as your Savior will begin your relationship with God here on earth as well. The Bible says, if you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. To start this relationship with God, you need to believe in your heart and say that Jesus is your Lord. Lord, you know everything. <laughs> you know that I love you. So, what do you think? It's not that complicated, is it? Our bad choices have separated us from God. Jesus connects us back to God. We just need to turn away from our bad choices, our sin, and say that Jesus is our Savior. Would you like to get connected to God and ask Jesus to become your friend right now? To begin your relationship with God, just repeat this prayer. Dear God, I admit that I have done things that are against your will for me and that I want to have a relationship with you. Please forgive me for my sins. I believe in my heart that Jesus died and rose again to take away my sin. And I declare Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. Please fill me with your Holy Spirit that I may be faithful to do what you ask me to do. Thank you for saving me and letting me become your child. Please speak to me and help me to hear your voice and to follow the way you want me to live. I look forward to spending time with you both here on earth and in heaven. Thank you for saving me and thank you for hearing my prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. And Drake, now it's time to say goodbye. <laughs> no, no, no! Drake, don't cry, because we'll get together another time. Awesome. Bye. See you next time.